Assalamualaikum and good day to Madam Azira. My name is Farhan Irdina binti Muhammad Zulkifli from MAC 2206B and I will be presenting UBM 599 Digital Workforce presentation. Now, let's get started. So, what is crowdsourcing? Crowdsourcing involves obtaining work information or opinion from a large group of people who submit their data via internet, social media, and smartphone apps. There are few examples of crowdsourcing which are Fiverr, Workana, Upwork, 99designs, Freelancer, Guru, and LinkedIn. These platforms can help you to have additional income through online platforms. For the subjects, I only focuses on a few platforms, and the platforms that I registered are Workana, Upwork, Freelancer, Guru, and LinkedIn. And out of all these platforms, the platforms that I prefer the most is Freelancer since it is easy to use. Here's the link to my platforms that I registered. Since we are using online platform to do our jobs, we need online payment platform to receive our payment. I use PayPal for my online transaction. PayPal Holding is an American multinational financial technology company operating an online payment system in the majority of countries that support online money transfers. It serves as an electronic alternative to traditional paper methods such as checks and money orders. Now, we are moving on to the summary of bids and contests. I have made a total of 50 bids and contests which consists of 30 bids and 20 contests. All these bids and contests are from freelancer.com. Unfortunately, even though I have participated in quite a few number of bids and contests, there are no projects awarded for me. Since there are no projects awarded, I also did not generate any income. However, I did receive one star rating from a contest. This contest is to make a logo for a Japanese calligraphy shop logo. Not only that, I also received 5 stars in 3 different logo design from one same contest. This contest is to make a logo for their bakery called Choco Tales. Now, let's move on to SWOT analysis. SWOT analysis is a framework for identifying and analyzing an organization's strength, weakness, opportunities, and threat. These words make up the SWOT acronym. The primary goal of SWOT analysis is to increase awareness of the factors that go into making a business decision or establishing a business strategy. My strength is, I have a fresh perspective. I can bring unique and modern age to my design. Next, I also have learning power because I am eager to learn new skill and keeps me motivated. Next is competitive pricing. I offered attractive rates compared to established designer. My weaknesses is I have limited experience, so client might prefer designer with proven track records. And I have problem with time management. This is because balancing studies and freelancing can be quite challenging. And lastly, marketing and networking. Reaching to clients acquire extra efforts. The opportunities is online platform. I can fully utilize freelance website and social media to enhance exposure and promote my artwork. Next is specialize. I can find a niche like e-commerce logo or school branding to stand out. And lastly, track. My track is competition. There's a lot of logo designer and including the experience ones. The second one is price undercutting. It is a pressure to offer very low price to win projects. And lastly is unreliable clients. This is because I need to deal with difficult clients or clients that always delay payments. In conclusion, I have learned so much for this subject. I have never known that I can generate money from online platform. This subject also taught me a lot of new knowledge and give me a lot of new experiences. I will work harder to make sure I have my project awarded so that I can generate income. As Maya Angelou says, do the best until you know better, then when you know better, do better. That is all for me. Thank you.